The first game on campus came about six, seven years ago. Started as a way to allow three friends to get drunk and hit each other with sticks. It developed into a serious game called Last Age. Last Age ran maybe once or twice a month. And that was it. So we turned to an idea that I had been thinking about and had gotten a little help with from another friend that became this game. Your traditional LARP game is equal parts of stage combat and improvisational acting. I'll start working on some steel plating or something to make everything stronger. Well, first of all, my name's Eric, uh, and uh, I primarily play the character Sod. He's called that because, well, as he would put it, got what people keep calling me. I have depicted him as being a very tall, very big human who is very stupid. Old man hit me on head with shiny metal cane. And again, and again. I'm sure he had a good reason for it. He said he would pay me, but I think he forgot. Now, he would just be the comic relief tank character. That just means that uh, he's a guy who can take a lot of damage without dying. Um, but at one point, by pure chance, he came across a special power, which is this, the Prophet's Mark. The storyline is basically a outcast magician attained a greater power brought together everybody in the exiled desert, and took over the mainland. The players are a remnant that survived the rebellion and made their way to a portion of the mainland that got torn off by the Guardians and are gathering their strength to basically kick his ass and take their home back. Three times per game, I can activate the power, and Saad gets a brief glimpse into the future. I touch one of the prophets. Which one is the left? I touch one of. The, I touch the second mark. So remember, he whispered to me this time. Really, he gets a brief glimpse of something that staff has set up for further on in the game. You know, a staff member whispers that in my ear. You see a glowing hammer. Oh come on, Vinny. Vinny, sorry, you gotta whisper. <laughs> I feel like uh, LARPing is often given a bad name, but uh, let's face it, um, sure it seems like a geeky thing, but we get a lot more exercise than table toppers. That being people who play D&D and any of those role-playing games that involve dice and sheets of paper. Try it out for yourself before you make judgments about the games, because they're a lot more fun than you might initially realize.